Russia loses up to 30,000 killed and wounded near Bakhmut. Between 20,000 and 30,000 Wagnerites and regular Russian forces have been killed and wounded in the battles for the city of Bakhmut since May 2022. Ian Stubbs, senior military advisor of the UK delegation to the OSCE, during the meeting of the Forum for Security Cooperation in Vienna, announced it. Over the past week, we have seen intensive combat as Russia continues its grinding offensive in Donbas. Russia is suffering extremely heavy casualty rates. Since May last year, between 20 to 30,000 Wagner and regular Russian forces have been killed and wounded in the area around Bakhmut alone, a huge loss of human life for a total territorial advance of approximately just 25 kilometers, he said. According to the British diplomat, it means that is over 800 Russian personnel killed or wounded for each kilometre gained, the vast majority of them Wagner fighters. In the face of these losses, Wagner Group owner Yegevny Prigozhin is finding it increasingly difficult to replenish their forces due to what he has termed the meat grinder in eastern Ukraine. Separately, Stubbs indicated that, judging by everything, Russia is running out of its missile reserves. This is evidenced by the increasing intervals with which Russia strikes Ukraine's critical infrastructure. According to him, the issue of providing the Russian troops with equipment is just as urgent. Russia suffered huge losses of heavy armored vehicles, which forced it to deploy 60-year-old T-62 main battle tanks to the front. Since the summer of 2022, approximately 800 T-62 obsolete tanks have been removed from storage. More recently, Russian BTR-50 armored personnel carriers were also deployed in Ukraine, rare vehicles that were first adopted by the Russian army in 1954.